Saw your dad in the paper. Stopped some girl and broke bones. It was necessary force. <laughs> Bonnie died. Mike, what if Ray killed Sadie? I'm trying to protect my son. You believe my husband now? Lab tech says it could be salt poisoning. Postmortem blood. Numbers aren't reliable. Yeah? I want to see you. I want to tell you the truth. He hurt her. He really hurt her. We're going to have to examine the body, Ben. <laughs> Where's my son? She had four brothers. They all drowned. I want to know everything about you. Everything. Daddy hurt mommy. Yeah, you said that. Tell me what you saw. Dad hurt mommy. Were you in the kitchen with them? I told you, Daddy hurt mom. I know. You did tell me that. I'm gonna go inside now. But I want you to tell me something. Did you see something? broke in her house, beat her, and we arrested him. You hooked up with her? No, no. We're, we're friends. She's been through something terrible here, Sadie. Mm. Look more than friends. No, it's not. She wants you to call her and rearrange her appointment. I went to the farm last night with Ray Jr. as part of my therapy. Your name's on the farmhouse. Carved on a board. Says Mike Sweeney loves Lissy Lexi. Except it was changed to does Lissy Lexi. Like you were some sort of porn king. You lied. I didn't put it there, Say. Oh, yeah? Who did? Kids do stuff. Say, you know that the way they hound you at school. You think that they're your friends and they're not. Yeah, now she's missing. Probably raped and dead. You knew her, didn't you? Back, man. I mean, barely say it. it was a long time ago. Look, whatever happened to Lissy and Lexi, I had nothing to do with. I swear on my grave. Hey, come on. I swear it. I swear. All right, I swear. Come here. I swear. I don't understand this, Pen. It's a specific kind of therapy. She reenacts the situation that precipitated the trauma. I don't, I don't get it. By, by what? By, by spending the night with Ray Jr.? It's just... She shouldn't have done that. I agree. It's cause for concern. Cause for concern? Pen, what exactly is she doing with him? Like, the therapy works. Look, she has to walk into that courtroom, which is an incredibly intimidating situation, and then she's got to come face to face with the man who raped her. I'm, by what? By, by sleeping with his son? I mean, what if that comes out in court? That's going to work to your benefit. 
Because it proves how damaged she is. It proves that Ray damaged her, and there's not a judge in the world that's going to let him get away with that. I'm helping her. You have to trust me. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. See you later. I'm begging you. I'm begging you, please do not take Bonnie's body out of the ground. Look, the forensic autopsy is going to lay the groundwork for a pattern of abuse with Guy. I can't handle it. I just want it to be done with. Okay. All right. I won't. I won't assume yet. All right. I'm not closing the door on it, Ben. I'm going to go after him. Crown's looking into laying a charge of assault, Mr. Verity. Also one of destruction of property. One of uttering threats. He said, she said. In the meantime, we are detaining you. He said, she said. We're reopening the investigation into your daughter's drowning. <sighs> Good. It's about that. Which makes you a suspect in a possible homicide. Think you're tough, don't you say it. Yeah, fuck off, Tombs! Where are we with the charges? I haven't heard back from the judge. Should have, hours ago. You got an eyewitness statement from Mark. It shouldn't be a problem. The kid sounded like a broken record. Daddy heard from Mommy. I'm not sure I believed it. Have you seen the photos? What the Honorable Mr. Verity did to him? Yeah, I saw them. They're bad. What the fuck is your problem? Jonathan Verity didn't have a scratch on him. I mean, he slams her like that, not even a broken fingernail. And all that broken glass, there was nothing. No cuts, no shard of it on his clothes or his car. Just uh, saying what, that she did it to herself? I know her. I don't see that. You know her. You can't see it. Hi. I figured we should have it face to face. Yeah. So, how do I look? What do you think? See any gray hairs? <laughs> you look fine, man. Honey, I wish you'd come out here. It's just, it was so hard for us being shut up in that place together. Here it's a city. Nobody knows. Till they Google us. Raymond, can we please not talk about your father? Your husband? I met someone. His name's Jim. He owns a long-haul trucking company. So what about him? Well, he asked me to marry him. You already said yes. Raymond, don't be like that. He is a nice man. He's got two boys, beautiful kids. You could come out here. We could be a family again. And a business... Trucking? It's a fuel-based industry, Mom. It's kind of a losing proposition. I love you. Raymond, are you still there? You want me to step back? Is that what this is? Not yet. You're compromised, but that could work for us. Bonnie Verity's autopsy report. Results confirmed the cause of death was drowning. They didn't do a detailed toxicology. We exhumed... Not yet. Not yet. We look for existing x-rays. We look for hairline fractures, displacements, anything to show a pattern of abuse. Who's the abuser? The problem is how to show that the death was a consequence of the abuse. You trust her? Absolutely. There's the issue of her suicide attempt, but absolutely. An overdose two days after the drowning. She had four brothers, Tom. They drowned. 25 years later, her, her daughter drowns. It's enough to drive anybody crazy. Crazy is a tricky thing, Mike. Not Penn. Not Penn. What about Molly Crocker, the nanny? You did the interview with her? Not yet. Jonathan Verity shut us down. I called her. She's coming in. So, which one? Husband, wife? Or both. My bet's on her. Mikey Mike. I haven't seen you since Ray's backyard do. I see you there, Ron. 
Must have put on a ton of weight, buddy. <laughs> have one. So I hear you took Ray on a fishing trip. Got him off a murder charge. It wasn't just me. It was me, Steve, a couple of guys saw us at the bar, too. You want to lay blame? Put it on that flimsy little packet of evidence you tried to smoke the judge with. <laughs> you remember Lissy Alexi? Why are you asking? Thought I'd look her up. Mr. Tips. Mr. Tips. Mike, the charge against Jonathan Verity finally came down. The guy's connected, huh? What are you doing this afternoon? Thinking of going to the old farm, taking a walk around. Okay, sure, I'll go. Later. Wait, wait, wait. Can you ask your dad about Lissy and Lexi? Ask what? If he killed her? I haven't even seen my dad. These are the questions. Sadie, he'll lie. You know him. No, not if you ask like a cop asks. See, you have to get specific. These are the names of the guys I got them off the wall. Find out their last names. Same with the girls. Look for contradictions in what he tells you. Who was where, when. Look at his body language. He won't look at you if he's lying. My mom's getting married again. Well, maybe she's pregnant. Shit, Sadie, what's your problem? Go see him. Okay? Please. Is there a Dr. Alexi who works here? She's just down the hall, nurse's station. Sure, there were rapes, gangbangs. I know that, you know that. Who was involved? Ron, probably, likely. There were all sorts of guys. Not you? No, I did okay. I didn't have to rape anybody. All the shit's why I became a cop. You too, I bet. Not one of them came forward. He must have traumatized them all. Why they came here to begin with. Nice charisma. He was a hockey star. You fell for it, so did I. Remember his mother? She was crazy, huh? No wonder he camped out here. I mean, what's that do to a guy? Yeah. Christ, I felt sorry for him, you know? He lived like an animal. You, uh... You think Ray's got anything on Ron Toombs? Possible, I don't know. You've seen those guys since you've been back, right? Yeah, once or twice for a beer. Been looking for a better class of friend. Hard to come by. Yeah, well, we should probably get together for a beer one of these days. Uh, bachelors, huh? <laughs> you know what? I could uh, use a laugh, catch some hockey. You remember Lissy and Lexi? I remember she had it for you. Yeah, she did. No make bail. The bear is straining on us, so you don't need to worry. He gets the house back tomorrow. I've been evicted. You stay at the motel. I got your room. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't. Sadie's gonna figure it out. I want you to. You'll feel safer. Sadie needs you to. You'll be right there. So with Bonnie, were there any emergency room visits? Her knee. Jonathan said she fell down the stairs. When was that? It was just before the accident. We took her to Glen Eden, the ER. I can't imagine Jonathan hurting her. Look what he did to you. This has gone too far. I want to stop now. Ben, we can't stop it. I'll go to ER and I will check for her records. If you can think of anything else, then... The cemetery can do the exhibition today. 
bought it? I told you, I told you, I don't want her body exhumed. What the hell was that? I said x-rays. Pediatrician destroyed her records. You call the cemetery and you put it off. For what? Out of respect for the mother. Get him or we'll scare him. Either way, I'm with you. Okay? I didn't touch her. She did that to herself. She has a history of self abuse. I've seen her do it. Bullshit. It's in the psych evaluation. The one your consultant did for you, so you get custody of your son? You've been charged. There's no basis for a charge. Your son's eyewitness statement. He signed you assault your wife. Mark wasn't even in the room. He was sleeping. He saw you hurt his mother. Those were his words. My son almost drowned in his mother's care. There's nothing suspicious about that incident. Nothing. She's gonna kill him. So, explain to me why she didn't want to pursue this and he does. She's grieving. He wants to exhume. He doesn't give a shit if he's a murder suspect. He's a lawyer. He knows what a long shot is. He didn't trust to prove that he did anything. He hired his own consultant. The two of them get custody of his son. Yeah, but what if he's right? He's manipulating us. He's got no feelings. He's a psychopath. He's just like Ray Prager. Where are all these rumors going around? And I slept with 10 guys. I'm an nymphomaniac. I like rough sex. I get slammed all the time. Look. Have you said anything to your teachers about that? No, that would just make it worse. Fuck them. I hang out with Ray Jr. most of the time, so that's okay. You went up to the farm with him, right? How'd that go? It's great. We made love. You now it's no longer the place of. Well, the place it was. So you made a good memory then? Yeah. And I stayed all night. Didn't freak out. Go on. I told my dad I saw his name carved into the board. He said he didn't put it there. You don't believe it? Should I? He had an affair when my mother was dying. It was like she didn't count. Just like that girl Ray killed. Guess she didn't count either. What about me? My testimony doesn't count. Even though Ray told me he killed her. He told me. You know, there's an account because it's coming from me. You need to separate the facts from the feelings, Sadie. Well, you got beat up. What are the facts there? And how did you talk about me? Are you fucking my dad? She's talking, you know? Did she say anything about Ray Jr.? 
Mike, I can't tell you. You can't ask me that. You know that. Mark, sweetie, are you ready to go? Mike's found us a really nice place to stay. But Daddy said I could stay here. You don't want to stay here, Mark. Yes, I do. Daddy said I could. It's okay, honey. You could come back any time. It's all right. I can, I can wait while we'll I go together. No, it's okay. He'll be a while. Just tell him I'm a great soccer player. We'll keep the ball around. That's the list of all the people that worked for us last year. Molly Crocker, the nanny. What about her? Well, you should know that Molly Crocker would do or say just about anything for Jonathan. Jonathan was a great father. Um, he had endless patience and kindness where Bonnie was concerned. Dr. Verity was... I don't like to say this. Go ahead. It's my impression. Dr. Verity didn't like her daughter. It's like Bonnie didn't measure up. Did she ever hurt her daughter? No. Never. Um, it was more the way she looked at her. Contempt. Were you there the day Bonnie fell down the stairs? Yes, I was there. And Jonathan was at the top of the bottom of the stairs? You're not insinuating he pushed her? No. No, not at all. She fell because she was sleepy. Sleepy? I think she was sick. Um, she kept asking for water. Earlier that day, I found her licking condensation off the fish tank. Where were you when she fell down the stairs? I was upstairs. What were you doing? Getting dressed? You were having an affair with Jonathan Verity. Yes. So you were where? In the bedroom. You didn't see what happened at all, did you? No, I didn't. Appreciated a, a visit to my hospital bed. Sorry. Mm. Fantastic. See for yourself. <sighs> People are telling you things. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to stay out of jail. Get myself a place in a cushy hospital. Uh, hey. You see your mother, you talk to her? She tell you she's getting married? Yeah. Yeah, she sent the divorce papers. I, I signed them, no questions. <laughs> God damn. She left us both. She left us both. David, shit. I'm not a monster. Give me your hand. Raymond, 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 the one thing I know about you, I know you're the only one who's ever loved me. That love gives me strength every time I see what I am. My boy. What did he say? I didn't ask him. What? Why not? Why are we here? Jesus Christ, you should see him. He's like Freddy Krueger's melting. Oh, poor daddy. What? Oh, daddy, poor daddy. Shut up, Sadie. Go to hell. Look, I came here for you. I did it for you. Audrey, Audrey, just a sec. The photo's all over the school. I'll talk to her. I said I'd talk. I'll talk to her.
。はい。The task you got for Bonnie Baird, what was the number for the sailing? One seventy something. And that was high. But they're not reliable numbers, remember? Post-mortem blood. What? What you got? Bonnie Baird is ER record. Blood's not post-mortem. The saline level number I've got is 207. That qualifies. That's poisoning. Jesus. The hospital test was a urine sodium, not a blood sodium. Meaning? It's even more incriminating. Bonnie Verity was very, very sick. Salt poisoning? That's what we're looking at? Can't feed a kid salt. No, you have to put. No, it's it. got to be intravenous, needle or a drip. The cases of salt poisoning that I know of, where mothers who injected a saline solution into the IVs when their children were already hospitalized. We gotta exhume the body, make sure. Yes, we do a complete autopsy this time. Exclude any other cause. Look for saline concentrations in other organs. What kind of symptoms are we looking at? Drowsiness, depressed mood, extreme thirst. I always saw Bonnie lick the condensation off the fish tank. Yeah. Given the necessity for intravenous administration, the likely suspect is Pen Verity. Come on, Mike. He's a good person. A murderer. I just, I can't, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Sure, I had affairs. If Pen knew and she did, she pretended not to notice. What if she had noticed? She would go or stay, I suppose. That would be her decision. So just before Bonnie drowned, you told Penn you wanted a divorce. You were there when Bonnie's body was discovered? Yes, just. I'd been away the week before. So Penn was alone? Yes. After the drowning, she attempted suicide? And that's when I decided to stay with her. That's good, Anne. She thought she could change my mind. She thought that I'd come back. And then the accident with Mark. You look at that and you put it together. Thank you, Mr. Verity. Anything to help. Sergeant Swinney. It adds up pretty clean. I just think we, uh, we should cool it just, just while you're here, because it's lady. Is the move okay? Did you get everything in? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's just, you know, it's pretty painful. But I'm sure it's the same for you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Talk about what's happening at school? No. Oh, hey. Hey. How'd it go, Sadie? Didn't talk much. Well, she's just projecting. Don't take it personally. I'm seeing her this afternoon. No, she's not going to be able to make that. She's got some school thing. We got six to review. We're just waiting on Tom and Glenn. Good morning. Good morning. Dr. Verity. Your daughter's body's being exhumed this morning in case you wanted to go. I got Bonnie's record from the ER. Do you know she was sick? She had a fever. Did you take her to a doctor? I am a doctor, Don. She was dehydrated. I had her on an IV. What is this? We just need the information from the files, that's all. What did Jonathan say to you? It's like Mike said, we just need the information for the files. Okay. You want your information? I'll give you your fucking information. 
Was Bonnie sick? Yes, she was. Was I treating her? Yes, I was. Is it my fault that she drowned? Yes, it is. And I have to live with that every single day. You want to add murder to that now? Sorry, I'm late. Traffic. Hey. The pen never hid the fact that she had Bonnie on an IV. I mean, anybody could have come along. Except nobody did. Jonathan was away. Jonathan said he was away. Molly Crocker confirmed that. Molly was there. Okay, I'll talk to her. Yeah, I'm looking for a missing persons file. Elizabeth Alexi. Yep, the badge number is 67325. Detective Surgeon Sweeney. Oh, I'm the temp. Yeah, very nice guy. The file's missing? So there's no other record? Well, does that mean there's no other way to get that report? Thanks. Fucking Ron Tombs beat up anybody else today? Gentlemen here tell me you've been soliciting them. Yeah, they wish. The evidence is pretty convincing. What are you talking about? They're assholes. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. What? You call my dad! Okay, you call my dad right now! Come to gloat? I tried knocking. He ditched us both. He was married to me, Molly. You were just the piece on the side. Can we have a drink? What do you want? Whatever Jonathan would have. Jonathan always drank whiskey with me. Guess you're gonna miss your house, huh? You know, I talked to the police. I told them you were the wicked witch. I feel sorry for you, though. Stuck with the kid. I mean, who wants a woman saddled with a kid? It's not very sexy, is it? Boys told us Miss Sweeney been soliciting them for money. Straight sex, oral sex. We opened up her locker at school and found condoms, a wallet with over $300, porno. Yeah, you got the names of these boys? Yes, sir. Give them to me. Come on. Jesus Christ. Look, uh, I don't make a deal out of this, Sergeant. Cops kid and all. I'm not gonna charge. You're a bully and a coward, you know that, Tibbs? Get the fuck out of my face. Well, you got the chance. Get out of my face. You were set up. All right, Paul Toombs and Dan Merrick, their fathers are all friends of Ray's. So you're trying to get... Sadie, did Ray rape you? No! Do you believe me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, are you sure? Because you haven't. You keep asking and asking if he, if he raped me, if he touched me, if he assaulted me. No, he didn't! No, no, and no! Do you want to know what's true? That gun, I had it in my hand, and all I wanted to do was blow his fucking head off. Watch it burst open. And I still want to. <laughs> Who do you want to be with, Mark? Huh? Your mommy or your daddy? Look, I've got a bath running for you upstairs. I want you to get in and just put your head under and just... I don't want any nonsense out of you today. You do you understand? Mommy. Who do you love more, mommy or daddy? <laughs> You're bleeding on your neck.
Audrey, I can't take Maddie tonight. I need to spend time with Sadie. What? No, you can't do that. I have to. You're gonna have to live with it. <sighs> Maddie is waiting for you. All right, tell her that I will make it up to her. Okay. Okay. Jesus, he's not coming. <sighs> Matt, I have a really beautiful French dinner here. Campbell's gonna drop by. We're gonna have a really nice time, just the three of us. It's a Gougier. Here you go. And don't tell your mother. No, she doesn't give a shit. Hey, what's that mean? She's getting married to some guy she doesn't even know, and I'm supposed to just fit in. She's got a whole new goddamn family. Well, you can uh, move in with me if you want. I promise I'm not anything like your dad. I saw him. How was it? Bitched about my grandpa. Hey, did you ever know my grandmother? He never talked about her ever. What happened to her? You sure you want to know this, Raymond? Because. She hung herself. In the basement it was me and Mike Sweeney who found her. Ray comes in. He lets out this cry. He's on the ground. Mike and me, we don't know what to goddamn do. He gets up. He punches her. Punches her. Punches her like he's in a goddamn ring with her. That's what happened to him. Father? Yes. He's out there waiting for you and he thinks I don't know it. Come here. Don't ever forget how much I love you. You go tell your daddy. Daddy, how much I love both of you, okay? Paul Toombs, Dan Merrick, son and nephew, Vernon Tibbs, that patrol officer that hassled you, they're, they're all part of Ray's group. They set me up because I'm a key witness against Ray. That's what I think. Do you think Ray killed Lissy? So if Lissy was murdered, she would have been Ray's first kill, right? And if that's the case, and you can prove that, you've just blown his psych defense right out of the water. First kill, he's of age, that makes him a dangerous offender. I should give you a detective badge right now. girls in the woods. One of them looked just like Tracy when she was 15. A little blonde princess playing hard to get. I'm looking at her and I'm thinking you ever give anything to anyone without having them beg? You ever give I 
hated her. Her shrunk little soul, her bullshit love. And I felt all this hate flowing through me. Flowing through me like light. And when he hit it with that rock, I felt like I was set free. My mother, to hell with her. To hell with your mother, too. Sorry that happened to you. You're a little priest, Raymond. A regular St. Francis. I have to go. You tell Sadie to call me. She deserves to know the truth about her father. Same as you. I got out of the shower and he was just gone. <laughs> Jonathan took him. How long? I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Can you find him, please? We'll find him. We need a photo. Okay, no, can you help me find it? Help me. Sadie, I'll be right back. We have another animal documentary, man. Okay. So what'll it be this time? Lions licking each other? Porcupines barking. Ferrets. Lads, is it not time for bed now? Yeah, a minute. What are you doing here? Does Dad know you're here? I'm gonna go. What? No, no, stay. It's just the family circus. I know it's crazy. Yeah, I know. I mean, when it calms down, then I'd like you to call me if you still want to. Of course I want to. I still feel married. I just, I wanted to say that it's great, you and Jim. And I want to come to the wedding, meet everybody. And I love you. I love you too, sweets. Sadie's with you. Well, why did she say? No, I don't know what's wrong. She said Audrey's. I don't know what's going on. I didn't hurt Bonnie. I swear I... I know you think I did, but I didn't. I swear. I don't. I don't think that. 
I never thought that. I never did. Miss Crocker, it's Detective Bukowski. I tried reaching you a couple of times, you're not answering. <laughs> 